Hi, Mystery Riders. Uh, I don't know. I was, it wasn't starting. Anyway, welcome to the studio. And today I want to talk about shortcuts to writing like a pro, especially if you are just starting your first novel. This really important tips to uh, think about while you're writing and especially when you're editing. You know, um, as you become a more accomplished writer, some of these things are just going to happen naturally while you're writing, but you definitely want to check these things when you go through the editing process when you finish the first draft of your story. All right. So, first of all, you can avoid new writer traps that mark you as a beginner. I, you just, when people see you as a beginner, oh, you've got strikes against you. Uh, professional writing is geared toward your readers. It's not about you, it's about your readers. And then anything that draws the reader out of your story and calls attention to your writing is not worth it. Those are the things you want to check. You, you want to stay, bring, keep your reader in the story. Uh, and writing craft takes practice. And the benefit for you is that your story is appreciated and readers like your story. Right? And they enjoy reading your story. So the more you write, the more your craft will improve. Uh, so today I'm going to cover five writing mistakes that will keep you out of the agent or editor slush pile, right? Um, so when you learn to recognize these mistakes, you'll improve your writing craft. So essentially you want to learn to recognize and fix these newbie writing mistakes to move your writing up to that professional level. Um, and as your awareness builds of your craft, you'll be able to avoid them at that first draft level. So, um, first thing is your characters bellow, whisper, exclaim, whine. Um, don't underestimate your readers. When you're writing dialogue, said is all you need. It's the words your characters say that give your readers the clues they need to understand the emotion. Readers actually mentally skip the word said. They just keep reading the dialogue, all right? Um, so it keeps them in the story. When you add all those, all those descriptive verbs you're taking your reader out of the story and you're not following the flow of the dialogue which is what you want in a dialogue scene and even in long dialogue exchanges you don't need to use said that often you if you need to emphasize an emotion insert a character action in the sentence, like Craig pounded the table with his fist and said, rather than exclaiming or bellowing or whispering. All right, and stick with said or ask, and he asked, and that's really all you need in in your dialogue. All right, so, and then another one that marks you as a newbie, 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 newbie is using italics for emphasis. Uh, they're just like exclamation points. If, if they're in, in your writing, you really want to check and you probably want to take them out. You can use them sparingly in dialogue when somebody is truly exclaiming and that's about the only time um, you don't need italics to emphasize words or phrases 
if your character is thinking, write the sentence so readers know that's what their thoughts are. So, cut out italics and trust your reader. Right. I mean, I, I'm going to say this a lot of times. Trust your reader. Trust your reader. All right. Then another another one is head hopping in a scene. Right. Each scene has one point of view. It's one character's vision of what's happening in that scene. And you want to keep your reader in that character's head. Hopping back and forth between characters in a scene confuses your reader. Who 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 are they empathizing with? Who 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 is the main character in the scene? Uh, so if you want to get into another character's head, write a different scene from their point of view, from their perspective, and keep it in that point of view. So the, it's just an easy rule of thumb, one point of view per scene. Now I have seen major published writers head hop in a scene. So it happens, but here's the thing. When it happens, you notice. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want your readers to notice. You want them to keep going with your story. So just avoid head hopping. All right. And then the next one, the next tip about avoiding beginning writer flags is you weight down your nouns and your verbs with modifiers. So there's a good use for adjectives and there's a moderately good use for adverbs. If you find yourself using adverbs, you probably want a stronger verb. Just one hint. So as a writer, you are a wordsmith. So choose your words with precision. And this is where editing really helps when you find places like this. The more precise you are, the less you need adjectives and adverbs. So a precise noun um, and precise verbs. Um, use strong active verbs and forget the adverbs. That's just a pretty good uh, line of thought. So search for the L-Y endings of your words. Um, I was I was at an editing workshop the other day and a woman gave really good advice. She said when you do your search in your document, what you want to search for is L-Y space. So that's going to eliminate L-Y in the middle of words and just focus on L-Y at the end of a word. And you're going to get some that aren't adverbs, but it's going to help you find them in, in your text. So do that search and see how adverbs pop up in your manuscript. And stop and cut the adverbs and use a strong verb. And then another one that um, I see with beginning writers... Actually, when I was working on film scripts, I saw this a lot in film scripts as well. And that is showing off your smarts. Readers don't care about how smart you are. Trust me, they don't care. They really just want the story. So, don't use big words. When a simpler one will do, skip overriding complex, deep descriptions to show how much you know about something and get out of the reader's way. That's essentially what you want to do. Get out of the reader's way so they can enjoy your story. Uh, simple, clear writing keeps your reader turning pages. So there we have five big mistakes you want to check. Uh, you want to keep your dialogue tags to said and ask. 
You don't need italics for emphasis. You want to avoid head hopping in scenes, so you have one point of view per scene. And you want to minimize the use of adjectives for nouns and adverbs for verbs. And you don't want to show off your smarts. All right. So um, art comes from craft and practice makes us better at it. So keep practicing, keep writing. I say that all the time, keep writing because as you write, you're practicing your craft and you'll be way ahead of novice writers who ignore writing craft and think their story idea is all it takes. Readers prefer a well-told story, they do. And the attention that you pay to your craft makes a difference for readers. It separates you from the many, many writers who are too impatient to learn. So take your time, do your editing, and your storytelling will improve. All right, I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, as always, put them in the comments. Um, and I'm happy to answer your questions. Thank you so much for being here and keep writing.